Good morning, everybody. Oh, wow, Saturday. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's just get to it. Young Justice. Eighth episode was aired last night, which I've just watched just now, um, titled Downtime. Um, this is where we see Aqualad take some time out. Um, because the episode opens with um, the the uh, the Young Justice kids having a training session, um, but uh, Batman intervenes. Uh, I actually thought they were actually taking on Clayface to begin with. Batman intervenes and um, pretty much tells Aqualad that his head is just not in the game. He's not focusing properly. Um, he's not, you know, as a leader, he's really not. He's just not all there, kind of thing. Um, and it, then it dawns on Aqualad that. <clears throat> You know, whilst he was on Atlantis, all he's ever thought about was coming to the surface world and, you know, just try and enjoy his time there as much as possible. But lately he's been thinking about going back to Atlantis. So Batman pretty much gives him a choice, an ultimatum. He says, look, you can, you can be on both the surface world and Atlantis. You can split your time between them, but not your head. You're either here 100% or you're not. So which is it going to be? Um... You know, so so it's like, and even Robin feels when when Batman says that he wants to speak to Aqualad alone. There's Robin thinking, just Aqualad, right? Okay, all right. If that's how you want to play it, okay, fine, fine, fine. I'm your sidekick, bitch. Just remember that. It's probably what he's trying to say. Um, but yeah, before we actually go to Atlantis, I just want to say, how awesome was it to see the Flash family? Come on, Barry, Wally, Jake all their respective wives and, and stuff and the family it just it was just awesome just seeing them all there at home just enjoying Jay Garrick's birthday it was fantastic I just couldn't believe it I thought wow the Flash family on Young Justice I don't think I have ever come across what a show that has actually been able to bring all of them together in that in that manner you know they they weren't they weren't in their costumes Jay Wally and Barry weren't in their costumes they were just all normally dressed and they're celebrating Jake's uh, Jay, Jay Garrick's birthday and it was brilliant that's all like I said a touching moment very touching moment um, so anyway we proceed on to Atlantis and Aqualad returns to his hometown his homeland as it were um, is greeted by um, Aquaman King Orin or Arthur Curry as we also know him as and um, they're speaking in their native language which I thought was pretty good very very good so I quite quite enjoyed that that was good um, but Aqualad left um, a couple of friends when he left um, uh, Atlantis to come to the surface world he uh, left a couple of friends one of them was a was a girl and um, called Tula and his other his friend Garth um, and it it's it's that it's where this is where it comes in about you know returning to your home world and things have changed you know people have moved on and certain rules have changed certain aspects have, have have been amended all that sort of stuff and so Aqualad thinks that he's going to try and get back with well try and make a move on uh, Tula and eventually Garth is like look you've got to tell him that you and I are, are seeing each other um, then King Mira uh, Queen Mira rather not King Mira yowzers Queen Mira and Arthur and Arthur Curry both announced that she's pregnant which I thought was good very very cute um then you see Black Manta, who is um, on a mission for the light. We still have no idea who these people of the light are. Because at the end of every episode, or so far, a lot of the episodes that we've seen, towards the end, there's always the bad guy talking to the light. Yeah, <laughs> so there's something not right there. Um, something to do with this age-old creature that's been frozen for over a thousand years. And... Um, you know they need the black manta is trying to steal it and um battle ensues you see aqualad um eventually put his game face on and um thwarted uh, black manta's plan to to steal this creature but what i found really interesting right and this is pretty much the basis of anything in it throughout the universe as far as i'm concerned never piss off a pregnant woman did you see queen mira when she was fighting off the uh, the <laughs> Black Manta's minions. Oh my god! I was like, yeah, this is why you should never piss off a pregnant woman, fellas. She will go all out war on you. 
she did oh dear it was painful to watch but it was still fun at the same time um but yeah as i say loved the episode uh, it was fun and it was uh, it was it was a compelling story in terms of you know aqualad needs to he obviously needed to go back to atlantis to find himself again to regain his his uh, his leadership as well to be able to focus on his game whilst he's with young justice and not just um you know, think, oh, why am I not back on Atlantis? No, it's either he's here now in the present where he is, or he's just not there at all. And, you know, he can go back to Atlantis anytime he wants. No one's not, not telling him not to go. No one's stopping him from going. Um, we see a brief moment of, uh, with Artemis and her mum. Uh, she's been accepted a scholarship for the Wayne Tech um, Foundation School something at the Wayne, Wayne, Wayne Academy even, even Wayne Tech um, so she's been accepted but it's still not sure whether or not she should do it she says she'll do it for her mum but how much of that is true don't know but I'm going to leave it there I am now going to watch the new episode of Smallville which is Scion so um, yep yeah, review for that one coming up soon bye